Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. And today we're going to be talking about the sneak peeks that Clash Royale has released. Now, so far, they have released three sneak peeks. You probably don't know about the last one because it came out just 30 minutes ago. So you probably haven't heard of it yet. If you have, then good for you. But you probably know the first and second ones. The first sneak peek is the jungle arena. The jungle arena, as you can see on the screen, it looks pretty cool. You know, it has that goblin with like trees and the gold storage. So there's gonna be a new arena at 2600 and it does come January 13th, according to the Clash Royale Twitter. So it comes out January 13th at 2600 trophies. But as, and it's going to be called the jungle arena. Let's first open up this free chest. Okay, so not really anything there, but some elite carbs. Okay. And let's request. I don't know. What, are, what should we request for? Let's just request for that. But this, that's the first sneak peek. And the, you guys could probably go around and see some videos. Here's a picture of what it looks like in battle on the screen right now and moving on to sneak peek number two there's gonna be four new cards the dark goblin is what is one of the cards that are guaranteed um the executioner uh the the goblin uh goblin gang the goblin gang and this one where it's like a battering ram, I, I think that's what it's called. It's called the battle ram. So the goblin gang, the dark goblin, the battle ram, and the executioner. As you can see, the cards on the screen right now. So the executioner is a epic. Um, the the dark goblin and the battle ram are rares, and the goblin gangs are common. The goblin gang, what it is, is just that it's three goblins and three spear goblins at the same time for only three elixir i forgot to share a re show a replay here um that so that's what it is it's conveniently placed so that your goblins tank for the spear goblins so that's that's pretty good it's for only three elixir so it's really worth it the battle ram it's basically it's held up by two barbarians um it moves pretty fast and it does it's like the prince it takes time to charge up once it charges up it gets it, it targets towers so it targets your king crown towers as well so that's gonna be a card you're gonna have to watch out for since it does do massive damage once it gets its charge to the tower just like the prince so except it only targets towers so if you don't have a tower to charge it to block it or a, a troop to stop it easily it's gonna deal a lot of damage. I can see that using getting used a lot. Because also once its battering ram is gone, two bar regular barbs spawn out from that point as well. So to be honest, I think that should be a uh, epic, but it's only a rare. So I guess that's that. Next up is the Dark Goblin. Uh, the Dark. Uh, by the way, all of these I believe are released in the new jungle arena. Because first of all, that only makes sense, and second of all, they're goblins except for the executioners and the barbarian but it still makes sense because since it is the new arena but moving on to the dark goblin the dark goblin it looks like it's gonna sh it says it's shooting out bubble gum and uh, not shooting out bubble gum it's truly bubble gum so what i'm guessing is it shoots out the bubble gum as well that's really cool and it has a big range like it has a really big range it's almost at the bridge so but but it does have a little hit point a, like small small hit points uh, I think that's how you say it. I'm gonna say it so that's gonna be an interesting card it's like the musketeer with less health but more rain and about equal damage so that's pretty that's, that's a pretty good addition and last but not least it's going to be the epic card the executioner now one thing you should have already noticed by now is that in this update for the four new cards, they do not have a legendary. I I think that's really good because in the past update the updates, they've been adding one or two new legendaries and they're just making more and more legendaries. Now you gotta have an all legendary deck without the mirror before you had to have a mirror. So 
If they add too much, then it's too e it's 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 too easy of a chance to get. So it's not going to be really a legendary anymore. So good thing they're not adding any this time. But the executioner throws a boomerang that goes that damages troops while it's flying towards them, and when it comes back, like a boomerang. So that deserves to be a legendary, I think, because it's basically two logs, except it doesn't have a pushback effect, but it does quite a bit of damage as well. So I think that deserves to be a legendary, but they made it an epic. Um, they might have to change some of its stats, because I, I think it's a bit OP, because it's like a bowler as well, except imagine the bowler having the ball come back. So, and... It shoots pretty fast as well, so I think that's going to be um, an interesting card to use. I can see that getting used a lot as well behind tanks like the Royal Giant or the Giant. Because that could take out the Skarmy, um, Minions, Goblins, uh, not Minions, Goblins, Spear Goblins, Barbs, you know, Ice Golem even. So that's going to be an interesting card to see. So that's going to be the four new cards that will also be coming with the Jungle Arena on January 13th, I believe it's still the two cars per week thing. So the, um, I'm guessing the Goblin Gang is going to come first since it is the common. But who knows. Um, and the last but not least, the sneak peek that came out like 30 minutes ago. is going to be called More Epicness. So basically what it is, is you could donate epics on Sunday. That's right. This is probably the best update that's ever going to come into Clash Royale. Just because of the reason that they will never, and I can guarantee you that they will never allow you to donate legendaries. Because then there really is no point. Like Molt or Nick at Night, they could just donate all their legendaries because they already have basically max. So they will never add that. So this is the best it's going to get. Donating epics on Sunday. You know how there's the epic Sunday? Well, it only makes sense if you could donate epics on Sunday as well. But not only you can donate epics on Sunday, you can, all the epics in the shop are half price. And epic chests on that day, I believe only on that day, give more cards. So they give more than 10 cards. I'm guessing they're going to give maybe 12 or 15. I doubt it's going to be double, but who knows what they're going to come up with. So that's, that's a really good update just for epics. Like if you need like what, one epic for a low Ford? Dark Prince or Prince or whatever, just request for it on the next Sunday. And you're gonna get there you go. There's your level four North Dark Prince or Prince. So that's like a really good update. And they're also half price. So you could just buy one and then still have a thousand dollars left if you only have two thousand dollars. So I'm, I'm I don't know if the second one's gonna be half price. I'm thinking it is gonna be half price as well. So it's gonna be like what one thousand dollars and then two thousand dollars and then I don't know how much because I've never bought three. Uh, I've never bought two of them at once. So that's that's gonna be basically it for this video as we're wrapping up this replay. So if you guys do like the update that's going to be coming out soon, please be sure to like this video right now and. I really appreciate Supercell doing this because they really need a new mechanic and st stuff coming into the game and I think this epic thing is going to be pretty good and it's going to keep players playing on and on and on because as you can and as you can see right now if you go anywhere below Fro uh, legendary arena, arena you can see that a bunch of these replays are with people that have no clan otherwise known as level ones with all legendaries or at least a few legendaries like this one one by one cool name i guess but he has four five legendaries so I, I i don't think that's really fair which is why i keep my replays on legendary arena so if they don't start adding up if they don't start adding something new i'm i'm, I'm guessing a lot of players are gonna start quitting so that's basically gonna be it for this video remember to like this video and Keep subscribed and turn notifications on because I'm going to be posting another video once more sneak peeks come out. So uh, stay tuned for that and 
as I said, that's gonna wrap up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and will like to see these cars coming into the game. Now, with this though, it says January 13th, so I'm not sure about anything that's gonna happen, you know, for Christmas. So, that's that's something that's not very good because I hope they at least add some, you know, Christmas lights or music. But who knows? So, now you know that the other sneak peeks, like, I don't know, like, a Christmas chest that gives like what a free legendary or something that's not gonna be true they might have a Christmas chest but it's not it's definitely not gonna give you a free legendary because that just ruins the point of getting a legendary in the first place so yeah um that's that's it and I'll see you guys in the next video